Okay, so here we have a nice default plate. I'm going to add a couple of shapes real quick. And wait, we're just that a cone. There it is, okay. Anyways. Um, yeah. So if I print this now, it's just gonna do traditional print the plate by layers. Cool. What if I want to make these different colors? Well, I go in and change these to something different. And now we're doing color swaps every layer, well, every two layers. So a million color swaps, a ton of material thrown in the, the poop chute. That's no good. So if I want to change this to print by object, now I have these warning lines saying that they will interfere with each other. So if I space them out to where none of those lines are touching, go back to slice it, see it prints one object at a time. So only two color swaps in here, virtually no waste. Great. Some considerations on that. If you look at your object list, whichever one is highest up will be printed first. So now the cylinder will print first, because I moved it up to the highest part of the list. Going back to here, let's say I have two of these cubes, though. Well, now I have interference on multiple levels. That's not going to help. But since these cubes are the same color, I can select both of them and assemble them. Now I just have one tool path for the both cubes, and I can move my cylinder further out of the way, and I have restored a healthy tool path. So, again, red, then blue, then green. And it just prints those two objects the way you do a traditional print layer by layer. If I go back and let's say I take my uh, cylinder and make it tall. Now I have an interference path here saying that it can't be sliced because the cylinder is too tall and collisions will occur. This is because it's going to print the cylinder first and then have that object in the way in the path of these cubes. So to fix this, I can either try and move it further out of the way so that it never interferes, but you can see where that circle, no matter what I do along this axis, along the x-axis, it's always going to have some sort of interference with the way these shapes are laid out. So I can just simply make my cylinder print last. Now it's going to print my short objects first, my uh, cone and my cubes, and then it can come over here and print the tall cylinder.